the most overpowered weapon in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. This holds your 5.56 class setup at me dropping a 55 gun streak on Karachi. This thing is a three shot kill to the upper chest or head, and I have used almost every gun in the game now, and honestly, none of them even come close to this thing. So in today's video, I'm gonna go through and break down my class setup for you guys. Let's get into it. So jumping straight into the first attachment for my holds your 5.56 class setup, I am gonna be using the Cross X Short Barrel. This is gonna give us a huge increase to the sprint of fire, aim walking speed, aim walking steadiness, and the movement speed as well. This suits my playstyle absolutely perfect. I am a super aggressive movement based player, so this is really gonna benefit me. If you are more of a sit back slow type of player, you can throw on the Creo 6 Match Barrel, and this will increase your bullet velocity and range, plus the recoil control and the gun kick control, and it will obviously make this thing even better than it already is at the longer distances. Next up, we are gonna be throwing on an optic, and honestly, these are personal preference, whichever one you feel like you play better with. And for me personally, that is gonna be the Slate Reflector. It is a very good all around optic, definitely one of the nicest in the game. If you don't like the Slate Reflector, go ahead and check out the MK3 Reflector. I haven't even unlocked this thing yet, because really all I use is the Slate Reflector. But all you're gonna have to do is get the MTZ to level two, and then you will get this optic, and it is also a very good option as well. For the third attachment, we are gonna be using the RB Adel Assault Stock. This is gonna give us an increase to the recoil and the gun kick control. And since I am using the shorter barrel on this build, we are gonna lose quite a bit of recoil control. This stock is really gonna up it to almost make it feel like we are using a long barrel. Before we do finish off the rest of the build, if you guys do enjoy my loadout videos, don't forget to smash that like and sub button. We do post the best MW3 loadouts every single day. And right now, over 96% of you guys who watch my videos are yet to subscribe. So do your boy a favor and hit that big red subscribe button down below. Back into the build for the fourth attachment, we're gonna throw on the intruder rear grip. This is gonna give us another massive increase to the sprint of fire and the aim down sight speed. And it's gonna have this gun feeling as quick as an SMG while still maintaining that damage range and recoil control of an assault rifle build. If you do have trouble controlling recoil with guns, you could also throw on the Morn 20 grip. This will just give you another buff to the recoil and gun kick control. And it is gonna give this thing absolutely zero recoil. And last but not least, we do wanna throw on the Saken Tread 40 muzzle. This is gonna give us another massive increase to the vertical and the horizontal recoil control, turning this gun into an absolute laser beam. Here's my full Holger 556 class setup for Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, the absolute best gun in the game right now. So without further ado, let's jump into the gameplay where I go on a 55 kill streak. I'm getting stitched up! It's coming! Get 
What the hell is that kid doing? We're losing Charlie. Reloading! Objective Charlie is compromised. We're taking Charlie. Changing back! What am I playing on now? Oh my god. What's actually going on right now? Holy f I'm hit. Oh my god, and I just survived that. What the f is going on? And then I have 43 gun streak. What the fuck? Holy sh! Go your back, securing Charlie. We're losing Charlie. The enemy took Charlie. Watch your fire! Just fire I'm on your side. Swapping back. Down one. What the f is going on? Thank you.